Hi guys, hope you're doing great today. We all have what we believe to be our imperfections, flaws, things that we think are wrong with us, that we need to correct in some way. But our flaws, our imperfections can really be our greatest assets. And you can think of your flaws in a way that actually makes you feel good about yourself rather than making you feel bad about yourself. There's a Japanese art form called Kintsugi, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is taking lacquer, liquid lacquer, mixing it with um, a metal, um, a powdered metal, a gold, a silver, and coming up with a, a, a liquid, a liquid gold or a liquid silver, and then taking broken pottery, um, a bowl, a, a vase, any sort of vessel made out of ceramic, a ceramic vessel, and taking these shards of broken pottery and using this metallic liquid to glue them back together. And the effect of all these broken pieces being held together by this beautiful metallic uh, liquid, which dries to a hard, beautiful, shiny finish, um, it comes out to be, it's a beautiful piece of art. There's a lesson in Kintsubi. The lesson is that we can take something with flaws and imperfections and, and you can make it beautiful. So... How does that relate? How does that relate to us? How does that relate to us humans who are filled with flaws and perfections? What is our kintsugi? Well, I'm going to tell you a story. A very old woman walks into a nail salon to get a manicure. And she's embarrassed of her hands because she's in her 90s. It, her hands are laced with purplish veins and they're sticking up and she has many, many liver spots, age spots. And she says to the woman doing her nails, I just want clear on my nails. I don't want to draw attention to my hands. My hands are ugly and I don't like them. And the manicurist says to her, your hands are beautiful. They've held children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Your hands have made food for the people that you love. They've gardened. They've dug in the dirt and beautiful flowers sprung up. Your hands are your badge of glory. And the woman, the old woman thought about it and she said, she said, there's something to that. I can look at my hands as these flawed, ugly items hanging at the end of my arms, or I can look at them and say, they've seen and loved and embraced so much. So instead of getting that clear polish, she got the pink, the bright, shiny pink. From that day forward, when she looked at her hands, she saw beautiful things, not perfect, flawed, but beautiful. And she was able to let go of the notion that her hands were ugly. So that's Kintsugi. She embraced her flaws and she saw them as something, as something beautiful. On a personal level, I am very, very sensitive. You might even say oversensitive. <laughs> when I see a commercial for the, the dogs that are suffering in dog kennels and being mistreated, I quickly change the channel because it just, it breaks my heart. And if I watch it, look at, look at me, I'm crying about it now. If I watch it, it, I just, I am consumed by sadness for these poor innocent creatures. So many people would say that this is a flaw. This is an imperfection. This is something I have to fix about myself. Um, young school children, when they see another child crying, they 
sometimes tease them and say, oh, you're a crybaby. Being a crybaby is not a good thing in their eyes. It's a bad thing. But to me, my oversensitivity, is it embarrassing sometimes? Sure. Does my husband kind of look at me sometimes like, really? Sure. But at the end of the day, my imperfection or my flaw of oversensitivity or hypersensitivity makes me deep feeling and gives me empathy for others and allows me to feel things very deeply, good and bad sometimes too. But it's a strength. I, I can feel a great deal of joy and to me, that's a strength. So sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you have to look at your flaws in a different light and find the good in them and not just look at the negativity. And when you do that, you're more accepting of yourself and you're a happier person. And you say, I'm human, I'm flawed, but my flaws, some of them, have a positive side. And that makes me feel good about myself. That's what you can say to yourself. So, <laughs> after crying, which I didn't expect to, um, thank you for sharing this time with me. And I love you guys. And I hope you have a great day.